Well, as much as I would have liked this to have been scripted, it's not scripted. So I'm going to start off by saying Flat Earth. Let's start there. Now, I have made two animations. They are a very simple but pretty much to scale approximation. I looked at both models to make the scale right. And I can tell you from just animating both models that the absurdity of the Flat Earth model is just astounding. I, I honestly cannot fathom why anyone would think the Earth is flat, especially if you work in basic 3D software. Now a lot of the Flat Earth videos and a lot of the Flat Earth debunking videos, which is where I watch the Flat Earth videos too, like Thunderfoot or um, Simon Dan or Fight the Flat Earth or whatever. I can't remember all the names, but those are some people. Oh, I think, and maybe it wasn't Thunderfoot, I, I can't remember. But anyways, if you work in 3D animation like I do, and you spend maybe five minutes just tinkering with it, it seriously, you see the absurdity right away. Like, like the model of the Flat Earth doesn't support sunsets. Like, at all. You shall see in a moment, I guess. I'll show you, I'll probably have that running kind of over this, in and out, and whatever. And it'll just be showing you the sunset and everything. I used a simple uh, mist kind of modifier for the Flat Earth one to show kind of a sky occlusion thing, you know, like how the sun will scatter rays or whatever. It's not really doing that, it's just pretending. But like, it's a, it's a, it's an idea of how absurd it would be to have a, a day and night cycle based ex only on the Flat Earth, because like, th that alone is just stupid. Then, uh, then I spent a better part of an evening uh, making this two-scale model of the, of the Earth and Sun. Um, and by to scale, I mean in Blender, one meter equals 1,000 miles. So I made the Earth roughly 8,000 miles in diameter, and I made the Sun roughly, oh fuck, what was it, 90? Uh, damn, I can't remember. I, I can't remember how big I made all the things. It's not in my head right now. I'll probably put that up on the screen in a moment or right next to me or something. And you'll see that uh, I made everything to scale, used the NASA textures for the Earth and the Moon uh, for both the Flat Earth and the normal Earth, but I didn't have a Moon in the Flat Earth model, but that's not important because I was just focusing on the day-night cycles. I thought of adding the Moon while making the 3D one. It was sort of like a secondary, oh, well, I should add that to make some interesting bits and also to see if I could, and I could. So there's that. It took... Uh, probably 30 hours to render, not including me. Uh, to, with me, it's probably going to be 50 hours. So this video probably took, this video took 60 hours or more to, to, to make. Uh, I could probably make these videos bi-weekly, but I don't. I don't have a lot of ideas. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to check out my channel Ponlet's Productions, linked in the description. This video is also going to go up on there. And uh, be, please like, share, and subscribe this video to your friends if you want. And uh, I will hope to see you in the next one.